ladies and gentlemen we finally have more information about the ancient greek civilization coming to rise of kingdom so today we're going to go over everything as well as all the skills for pericles and pyrus the two new commanders coming to the game what's going on guys cheers now in typical rise of kingdoms fashion they like to release this update information while i was sleeping i literally just woke up and saw this so i apologize if i look and sound like garbage but let's take a look at the buffs here for the infantry civilization it says increases infantry health by five percent this is probably the best stat that we possibly could have gotten for the infantry civilization now i do wish we would have gotten some sort of march speed buff here as well but i do think that if we did that it would have been way too similar to rome if you guys didn't know rome gets five percent defense and i think ten percent or five percent march speed but the five percent infantry health is absolutely huge this is the best stat for infantry we also have five percent rallied army damage so if you are an infantry rally main this is your new civilization no question this is going to be the way to go and you do get 10 percent stone gathering speed which nobody cares about because it's stone you don't even use stone to train infantry so why in the world <laughs> I don't know i don't know i don't know what's going on there but you get bonus stone here we can see the stats for the tier five special units this is the i'm not even going to try to pronounce this but it looks like there's an increase in attack and defense as compared to the regular tier five infantry if we take a look over here on rockguide.com we could take a look at the other base stats for the other infantry units this does not have uh the vikings apparently so that is unfortunate but if we look at the elite samurai for example it looks like they have slightly less attack but slightly more defense and the same hp so it looks like it's going to be a little bit more well-rounded than the samurai but it's not going to be like as tanky as the elite throwing axemen from the francive okay let's take a look at pericles because they did give us all of the skills for this commander and we also can see that it is an infantry garrison support commander so having the support tree here is going to be really interesting obviously cpo prime has the support tree we have also constantine with the support tree so we do already have a few infantry support commanders but i think this is the only one that is of the epic tier uh, i think the design of this commander is very cool it's pretty much exactly what you would expect from pericles and i think it's it's perfect okay so the active skill has a 1000 rage requirement it says this commander's troops gain a shield with a damage factor of a thousand for three seconds that is the best shielding factor on an epic we've ever seen then it says the shield also increases the healing of their troops received by 15 percent and march speed of their infantry by 20 percent this feels like a really cheap secondary for richard the first if you're going to be in like kvk1 or something like that i mean this is super tanky bonus march speed and you also just heal more but also if he's secondary to richard then you would miss the timing here so i <laughs> I have no idea not sure what they were going for there but this is a very tanky uh, active skill and i can imagine that this is going to be very useful for at least pve content for the free-to-play players who maybe don't have a ton of other tanky units like martel for example taking a look at the second skill it says infantry units gain 10 percent attack and 10 percent defense very generic just flat bonus to, to stats there third skill says while this commander is garrisoned in your city you deal 10 percent bonus damage so this is going to be nice if you actually are doing something like shadow legion perhaps maybe but besides that i mean you really shouldn't be garrisoning your city uh, with an epic commander anyway uh so unless you know this is like the very beginning of the game or something that's the only time you would use or care about this skill most people are not going to care so far i would say get them to five five one one but let's see what this last skill is it says whenever this commander's troop is hit with a normal attack it has a 10 percent chance to reduce the attacking troops normal attack damage by 30 percent for three seconds and it has a five second cooldown so i wonder if the cooldown applies to the actual target or if it's for pericles i suspect it's for pericles which is a bummer but the fact of the matter is that you could be taking multiple normal attacks from multiple different armies and if this has a cooldown per army then that would be cool that you could like constantly be reducing the three different let's say you're getting hit by three targets you could reduce all three targets normal attack damage by 30 percent at different times again i don't think that's how that works i think it will be uh popped by pericles himself but it does feel like a debuff right it feels like they're debuffing the enemy's damage rather than reducing pericles damage taken 
by normal attacks by 30 percent so i'm not sure how that's going to work we'll have to see in game but overall very tanky fourth skill here and if we look at the expertise this is actually what we were already looking at before so uh, i didn't realize this because they were going through the video in order but it looks like the normal active skill only has a 700 shielding factor and a march speed increase with the expertise it bumps that up to 1000 and it increases the healing that your troops receive so a uh, very small uh i would say buff to that active skill for the expertise um is this commander super good i don't know i think he's kind of like generic and tanky um but like do we really care or need about that uh probably not so i don't really think he's going to be super helpful but I think probably for PVE content, he'll be useful for free to play players or new players. Um, he might have a pretty good role in the early game for Canyon, for example. Um, so I think there's going to be plenty of uses for him, but you know, after KVK one, I think for PVP, you'll probably never use him. I can't think off the top of my head, any reason that you would. Okay. Let's move on to Pyrus. And here you can see he has infantry versatility and defense, which means most likely to me all of these skills are probably going to apply in the open field which is very exciting for free to play infantry players if they can get their hands on this commander who will be coming in the gold keys so it's going to be quite hard anyway active skill 1400 uh, damage to a single target and increases the normal attack damage of this commander's troops by 20 percent for three seconds that sounds really nice actually uh this is a really nice single target damage factor is it like meta for late game no but consider the fact that this commander is going to be available in kvk one i feel like this might like could this be a rally commander in kvk one i mean that just seems like a lot of damage for kvk one let's see what his second skill is here it says infantry units led by this commander gain 10 percent health 15 percent march speed and while outside alliance territory this commander deals 20 percent more normal attack damage so once again we are adding that normal attack damage and if you're rallying with this commander you will be outside alliance territory this could be really really interesting uh the infantry health is very good very nice it is relatively small to, uh, as a buff i think sun Tzu gives you 10 percent infantry health right so like it's nothing crazy but it's nice and the march speed is going to be absolutely huge third skill says 20 percent increased attack while on the map and whenever their troop launches an attack it has a 10 percent chance to gain a 500 shielding factor for three seconds and an eight second cooldown so again just generic stats that are available in the open field which is amazing this is not going to work in a garrison so he's not garrison tree but he does have the defense tree so it's kind of odd that this would you know not apply in a garrison but i guess as a versatility commander that's what we can expect he is basically just an open field commander and the little baby shield here is nice now notice in the top left we have two legendary constants like what those must be the two new cavalry commanders that are expected to be coming very soon constantine prime confirmed ladies and gentlemen <laughs> fourth skill says commander troops take 20 percent less skill damage beautiful if it has a shield active their troops deal 10 percent more damage so this feels like a really nice pair for charles martel in the early game and maybe even into the mid game honestly uh this also feels like a really nice pair for alexander the great i mean both alexander the great and martel give you really nice shields and here you see a shield on pyrus himself also on the previous skill we just saw i feel like there's going to be a lot of ways to have this bonus damage up very very often which is going to be nice and there's a lot of tankiness here with the uh the health we have the 20 percent less skill damage taken and the fact that he has really nice normal attack damage and a really nice single target skill shot is going to be beautiful and then finally the expertise says when this commander's troop is hit with a normal attack it has a 10 percent chance to reduce the attacking troops attack by 30 percent for three seconds that's a three second cooldown so again i have the same question with this as i did with pericles is this a a cooldown for the attacking army meaning that army can't receive this debuff for eight seconds or when when pyrus applies this debuff can he no longer apply that debuff again to any target for eight seconds that's what i'm curious about i suspect it's the second one but that that's usually not how debuffs work in the game so i don't really know how that's going to be we'll have to test that and see uh overall pyrus feels very well-rounded 
uh this feels like he's in the same caliber as footmos where he is pretty clearly better than the other gold key commanders but not necessarily good enough to be like viable in kvk3 and beyond however keep in mind they did say that after some amount of time there will be a relic that comes out for pyrus as well so we could see something really nice come up with that relic just like with that modes where he actually gets a ton of stats right and i think that could be really good i feel like pyrus being so well-rounded and being literally built for the open field um again when you look at the other commanders you have cho to choose from in the gold keys this feels like a slam dunk i feel like he's going to be very good like i said with martel with sun tzu in the early game he's going to be very good with alexander the great and at, again when you go into season of conquest this could just be a really nice uh cheap budget build maybe a 5511 you slap as a secondary to your cpo prime when you first expertise him right so again i feel like this commander could be surprisingly good but definitely not meta definitely not meta uh just uh, i think again a gift for free to play and low spenders as a commander that is going to be decent but not the best in the game and overall i think his design is very good i'm really excited to get him and get my hands on him i feel like the reality is that infantry is so bad right now that like players will probably experiment with him when they when he comes out just to see if he's usable let's take a look at the active skill here we see uh just a big spear shot to two different units that was kind of underwhelming and of course we will have the tales of olympus event here so you can get pyrus sculptures for free so you will be able to unlock him just by playing the game i suspect which is going to be really nice and then they announced a new season of conquest which i'm not going to go over here and they also announced the uh transmutation for armaments again something that I may cover later guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on Pyrus and Pericles and also the civilization buffs for Greece are you excited I think this is a, what a lot of players were looking for so this sounds really nice to me I can't wait to get my hands on Greece and see how the units and civilization look in the game while you're down there consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace